So now that you've taken some photos for your story, for a slideshow, or maybe just to upload to the CMS, or you might have some Excel spreadsheets or digital files that you want to edit, well, that's what you use Adobe Photoshop for. Adobe Photoshop CS6 is jam-packed with new features and lots of things that you can do that would change a photo but for journalism we don't want to do that we want to keep the original content as much as we possibly can for ethical reasons so basically in this lesson of Adobe Photoshop CS6 we're going to go over some very basic image editing tools that will just change the light or the contrast or just a few quick things to be able to throw them into a slideshow or onto the CMS so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open Adobe Photoshop but I have it open and I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to open an image. So I'm going to find one on my desktop. And this is just a photo that I took of a sunset down in Florida. And we've got some tools over here on the left-hand side. So the first one is the Selection Tool, or the Move Tool, the Rectangular Marquee Tool, the Lasso Tool, the Crop Tool, and we'll basically just use a couple of these. So first things first, let's say that we've already created this now the first thing I want to do is resave it as basically a new file because we want to keep the raw file maybe our editor wants that or might need it later on in time for a file photo or something like that but what we want to do is resave it as a file that we have edited so I'm going to save this as and I'm going to name it uh, sunset underscore resized or edited one of the two let's name it edited I'm going to click Save, and then the JPEG options are going to come up. Just go ahead and make sure that that quality is all the way to the right-hand side, Large File Quality 12. Click OK. All right, so now the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and let's crop this image. Okay, so we're going to use the Crop Tool, which is the fifth tool down, most likely, on your toolbar on the left-hand side. And there's a couple different ways that we can do this. You can use the crop tool, and what you can do is just drag in these corners to what you want to crop. So maybe this left-hand side I want taken off, you know, maybe a little bit of the sky, maybe a little bit of the right-hand side here. And you notice whatever is shaded will not stick around. Basically, whatever is grayed out is going to be cropped out. So now what I can do is if I like that, and that looks pretty good, I've got all these people, okay, I can go ahead and I can click the check mark up at the top, and that will commit the crop. So if I click that, it crops the photo, and now we still have the crop tool activated, so I could go ahead and I could do that again if I want to. And maybe I'll just crop a little bit more out. And I'm going to go ahead and click that, and it should commit the crop. If you go ahead and click the move icon again, it'll ask you, do you want to crop the image? Go ahead and crop it. And now we're back to what our photo looks like now. So we're in the move tool. Now let's say I want to crop this to four by three or some kind of uh, exact number of inches or whatever we want to do. We can set that ratio up here at the top. So if I'm in the crop tool, I can click on this button that says unconstrained and I can change this. So maybe we want it 16 by 9 for video. If you have a splash image or if you're making if you're putting this into a widescreen video, you could do 4 by 3. If you want to crop this exactly for a slideshow that you might be doing. So there's all these types of presets that you can do and that will crop them however you want them. So I'm going to go back and click the move tool. Um, don't crop. And now we can go ahead and we can do some image adjustments. So some of the image adjustments, if you go up to the image menu up at the top, allow you to basically choose auto tone, auto contrast, and auto color. So essentially what these things do, auto tone, if I go down to that, this is going to increase the contrast by affecting the image's colors. So if it looks washed out, you might want to use this. Auto contrast will increase the contrast without affecting the colors so that changes the black and white levels and then auto color does both so that will adjust the contrast and the colors so for this one I'm just gonna do auto contrast and you notice it just took it down just a hair as far as darkness goes and it just added a little bit more black to that image and you could also do auto color 
I don't know if I like that. I think I liked the white balance before. So I'm going to go to Undo Auto Color. And this is just, these are just some very basic options that you can go through and change the color, the contrast. I didn't really like how that looks either. I like how, how I shot it. So if you shoot the image the correct way with the correct white balance, then you shouldn't even have to do any of these tools. So now finally, we want to create an image for the Medill CMS. So let's say that we are resizing this for the Medill CMS. And if you remember, the CMS is basically the width has to be set to 524 pixels. So I'm going to go up to image and then image size. And what we need to do is we need to change the width. Now, if I change the width here to 524, do you notice the height doesn't change? Now, the reason that that is is because we don't have constrained proportions on it. We want to make sure that that is checked so that if you were to resize this, this would make all these people really, really skinny if the height is much bigger than the original height or original width. So if I check this, it goes back to normal. Now let's go to 524, and you notice the height changes to 341, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. It makes the image smaller, but I can zoom that in by going to view, fit on screen. And now I'm going to go to file, save as, and let's save this one as, we can resave it as sunset edited. So whenever you're done with the photo, whenever you're done editing, just go back, click save as, resave it. And then the JPEG options are great. And that's how you crop an image, change some attributes as far as tone, contrast, and color of an image and resize it for the Medill CMS in Adobe Photoshop CS6.